this illness, particularly with women, I mean, one of the biggest taboo subjects in this culture is the outcome of food, which is poop. And, you know, the embarrassment of having this situation. But then there's this in talking about, well, what is an autoimmune disease? When I'm on Facebook, I see questions or I make comments every once in a while. People are like, no, you have an autoimmune disease, so you have this forever. You know, all the, all right. the scripts from sure. the doctors. Mm -hmm. So I'd like to address that, how food is related. Sure. Um, how, to, how a lot of people say, my doctors um, say it's not my fault and there's nothing I can do. So let's get back to, maybe it's not your fault, but let's get back to the origin of it is something you're doing because you can undo it. You created mm -hmm. this. Here's sure. how you created it. Not to blame, but this should give you the 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 power and inspiration that you can discreate it, uncreate it, sure, and absolutely. here's how. There's that, and also, um, so yeah, the autoimmune thing, people think this is their sentence now. That's it, I have an autoimmune. My body attacks itself, it always will. Maybe it's not attacking now, but it's going to sneak up and get me again soon, you know, so they're waiting. It's like this story, stepping out of the story and creating a new story and understanding how we identify with who we become with this disease and to separate ourselves from this idea. I know there's a lot going on here. These are things that I'm thinking about. And you have to set them up first so they understand what you're, what you're the hell you've been through and things like that. So I think I would lead into that sort of thing so they understand exactly why you're doing this. You've suffered all your friggin' life with something that's, Since a that's very fixable. And you were lied to by the AMA, but only because they didn't understand. They didn't know. And when one health modality doesn't know something, it doesn't mean everybody else doesn't know something. That's the problem. They've set themselves up as, you know, the premier group when they're, they're idiots. They don't have a clue. So they've just, this is the ego, the narcissism that they're trapped in. And that locks soul for a while. And it jokes yeah. on them. But they're hurting a lot of other souls with this insanity thinking. And we want to show the world that there's no such thing as autoimmune. That's all. That's, 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 the AMA uses those autoimmune type conditions when they don't understand what causes it. And that's it. And for people to get out of this mentality, because mm -hmm. when they limit themselves in that story of, I have an autoimmune. I am this, I have you this disease. You've just claimed disease. your problem. You've just claimed, mm -hmm. well, also when people get tattooed with these ribbons and things, it's like, I'm a stamped, that's me. we got to step out exactly. of this. That's just what you want to say on this. You want to say that heart thing out of this, because that's what you're trying to tell me, and that's what you want to tell the world. I, this is crazy. I've suffered all these years. I didn't have to. They, they, they lock people into this, and, and people just own it, they take it on and own it because they don't understand there's hope around the world, but they just, they're locked into the AMA thinking, how do you want to do that? Just let it flow, well, it doesn't matter. The reason I'm here, the reason I traveled my ass off yesterday and went through all this, let me tell you, is because, because of you and your service and I've got to give back the way you know how many years I've how many months had times I've been in bed and guess who who was my main friend you want to know who it was you it was you who kept me company with the videos I'd be laying in bed I couldn't even focus on reading I couldn't do anything I went with them but sometimes you need a break let them know the level of suffering that you right. attained by by those that don't know what they're doing. And then I want them to know, hey, I lost half my hair two years ago. I don't know if you heard about that. And I used to have long hair, and I got it all cut off because my designer was like, this doesn't, this isn't good. You have bald patches. You can keep it long, but I wouldn't recommend it. And, I, and it was that being forced into cutting it off rather than my decision, I freaked out. But I cut it off because I said, I don't look any more sick than I do. And, um, That's your natural curl, right? Yes, yeah, my natural curl. So I love cute. it too. I love it too. But look how it's filled in. See, you know how many people say they've lost their hair, and mm -hmm. what can I do? Oh, yeah. Guess what? A ton of that. I just talk want people. That. Yeah, I want to talk about that. The regeneration process. The regeneration what this means. process. The hair comes back. The, right. The, 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 the inflammation comes out. The tissue rebuilds. Things like that. And here's the thing. That's the whole point of me being here. It's like, yeah. guess what? I used to be you on that other side watching yeah. this video. Mm -hmm. 
I'm still that person. I still, but now I'm on this side. Now you need to tell that to that camera. You that that story that I used to be you, mm -hmm. not yeah. having hope, wondering are there real people mm -hmm. that really come back, and the reason why I'm traveled all this distance is to say yes, there are real people, and I'm one of them. Yes. Exactly. And here. You can do it because here's my story, there and this go. is where I come there back from. So please have the hope. It is such a world full of theories that, um, you know, our staff is always doing research for me, and we all bump against so many walls. Why I left it years ago because there, there's too many walls, and uh, I, it's just like AMA. There's so much lack of understanding in chemistry and biochemistry that. Uh, and some perceived uh, things that are perceived differently and wrong without understanding the whole. You know, when you fractionalize uh, life, you lose uh, so much and you get lost yourself. And that's basically what's going on here. So I was trying to, to show, demonstrate that for those of the intellectual mind that you're trapped and that fractionalizing life is only a mind game. Always be lost, but that's the game of creation. If you want to play it, have at it. This, this side is not about that. This side is freeing yourself from that, you know, and waking up to truth in so many you know, levels. That's it, waking up to truth. Waking up to truth. And having the courage to identify the truth and walk in the truth, even if every single person around you is calling you crazy, yeah. is telling you something counter sure. to that, is like, what is your truth? And what is the outcome that you desire for your life? Your character and your, your, here's your story. You're writing a story in your character. What do you want that character to experience and what do you want the outcome to be? And when you hear the truth, I, don't, I also want to say how I met you because that's how I heard the truth. Cool. Um, but maybe I think you should introduce me. No? No, this is your video. Well, it's our video. Yeah, but I mean, you're going to be the one using it. Aren't you using it on your channel? Well, we could. It's up to you. Yeah, well, I'd like to review it first with Chris because I'm still like, am I going to send something <laughs> effed up? Or? You know what, though? But that sort of thing, it doesn't matter because you're talking to friends out there. True enough. Everybody yeah. out there that really get this are friends. They write in their friends. They're, they're just like you. They've suffered. Yeah. And now they found somebody that suffered, too, and they found them. You know, people need to see, on, even on our site, others. Because they keep seeing me all the friggin' time. And this is what we've been talking about, is bringing people like yourself up and saying, tell your story about what happened you know, to you and the suffering that you've had for years and the near-death experiences that you've, you've had with this problem that you thought was a disease until you woke up. Right. And I, you know how many times I've been sent home to dead? You... If you don't have that colon removed tomorrow, you're going to die. It's like, am I really? That's what you need to tell. Yeah. It's like and that. it's like, how do I look for a corpse? Pretty good? <laughs> am I doing okay? Yeah, you're doing okay. Do I have a lot of color you, in my you, face? You just seem to have some color. And, and your hair? Of course, corpse's hair, I guess, keeps growing. <laughs> Thank you for watching. And please click here to find me at Emerald Cafe. And subscribe if you'd like to follow my videos and please feel free to leave any questions and comments and any specific topics you'd like me to cover in the upcoming videos. Blessings be.